We are having a pirate theme for camp this year, and I want to show you these cute little pirate hat thingies I made out of a scarf that actually came from Aeropostle. So that's what it looks like on. Thank you, my little model. Um, what I did was this took this scarf, and it was kind of a big one. You can see big pictures of all of this on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and go to the bottom and type in um, pirate scarf and up will come this blog and how I did it. So what I did is it was a, lo a big long rectangle and I just folded it point corner to corner on a diagonal and then folded that on a diagonal. So basically it was a square and I folded it in half like this and then I folded it like that and then I folded it like that. And then I just took my scissors and cut here and cut here and cut here. So that then I ended up with eight scarves, and they're about that long. You need, now, before you cut anything, you need to make sure it's going to be long enough to fit their heads. I wanted the little tails like the pirates have on their hats, so they could wear it like sideways too if they wanted to. So they could wear it that way, or they could wear it that way so that they could have the tail hanging down. The one thing you need to do when you're doing the pirate hat though is make sure that the back tail gets tucked into the knot and then tuck the poochy out corners underneath so that it's more like a skull cap which is ha 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 funny because this is a skull scarf but anyway we were going to do just red fabric but I love that this is a little more airy muslin-y looking loose knit and I love that it had scarves on it so I, I went found it at a second hand store for two dollars and was able to make all eight of our junior leaders scarves out of that for our, our pirate theme. And uh, we're doing t-shirts with um, iron-on patches. Singer sells a skull iron-on patch. And um, so we're going to just iron that onto white t-shirts. And then I've got eye patches for them. And um, I've got some skull mm, charms. We do pass that bag, sweetie. I've got some skull charms that we're going to tie on black ribbon and put around their necks so that Let's see. There's lots of charms going on right now, but okay. So these are the charms that the girls are going to get each of them for their charm bracelet, and these are the charms that are going to go around the girl, the junior leader's neck. So we've got these big ones that are going to be on black ribbon or cording. You can see that. Not too glary. No, I think it'll be alright. So anyway, these big big ones go are going around their neck. They're wearing the skull hats and then the t-shirts. And then each girl, when they go on their hike and beware of pirates and things, the decorations are actually going to have one of these little charms on their charm bracelet to remind them to beware of pirates. So anyway, that's um, how to make a pirate hat or a bandana out of a larger scarf. Look, it was actually from Aeropostle. Um, I can't imagine why anybody would want to wear this normally but it's actually perfect for what we're doing it for and it was cute one of my girls said oh if you have extras i would actually wear that around just anyway because they thought it was cute so you can just cut them up and let them be raggy on the edges this one was actually personally frayed you can and if you want to fray the ends of these other ones all you do is you just take your finger um and you just pull it down and then once you get this it started you just pull and fray it all the way, it'll come all the way out. If I had two hands, it would be out already. So that's how you fray something. If you want a decorative frayed edge, you just start pulling out the fabric strings, and uh, then you have a nice frayed edge. So that's one way you can do it. Anyway, have fun.